Good afternoon, everyone. Wow, I'm really loud in the house. Hot mic. What a delight it is to welcome you here to Trinity Church, and particularly on this day for this occasion. Uh, we try to, as much as possible, find ways for people to encounter the divine. And we have found that music is a great avenue for that, and certainly jazz music, and particularly as a unique, uniquely American art form, uh, to give it a home here in our 325-year-old parish seems to make some sense. Has it been a delightful period of time over the last year to build a relationship with Jazz House kids and to really find new ways for us to collaborate to make this music more accessible to our young people and to all of us on a regular basis? And so I am delighted to welcome Melissa Walker, the founder of Jazz House Kids, to come up and introduce the band. Thank you so much for inviting us to your house. We are uh, so privileged and honored to be embarking on this partnership together. And of course, Trinity Church has a long history of presenting world-class music um, and culture to bring community together. And um, you know, I'm really proud of Jazz House for 20 years, but next to 325 years, uh, it's with it on a whole nother level. Uh, but, you know, when we were talking about kind of what we wanted to do together, one of the things was to make sure we presented emerging talent uh, and then the terrific talent that you hear each and every day um, when you go into some of the, the great rooms around this city. But we also wanted to uh, present the very best in terms of those who have dedicated and have reached you know, the pinnacle in terms of their career. And that's what this series is all about. And it's called the Jazz Icon Series. And um, not able to join us today, but Christian McBride is helping uh, to curate that series with us. And it's really meant to highlight and bring to you and to the public those artists that have moved the music forward. Uh, today's artist is certainly in that category. And so we are delighted today to bring you Steve Ture. And he is, let's give him a round of applause, absolutely. Uh, an incredible innovator of this music. I mean, when you think about going from Art Blakey to Ray Charles to the uh, Saturday Night Band, you're talking about somebody whose life embodies music. Not just jazz, but music in all of its forms. An incredible trombonist that you will hear, as well as a seashellist. Uh, and I know he will kind of give you an experience of what that means. I know, a seashellist, but um, bringing from his heritage. So I'm going to let you uh, announce your incredible band, but I've got to say there are a few young people on this stage who have been a part of the Jazz House since they were teens. I will let you figure that out yourself. Um, but that's really what we're about, and I think that's what jazz musicians are about. They're about the next generation, and, and Steve is that artist who is bringing that next generation of young people, as well as the veterans of this music who are dedicated to the stage. So it is with great honor that we bring the Steve Ture Sextet to you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Steve. Hello, 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 oh, there we go. Thank you, Melissa. And uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's such a pleasure to be here to play for you this afternoon. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to the musicians. On the trumpet, we have the great Wallace Roney, Jr. <laughs> And I've known Wallace since he was a kid, because his pops and I were real good friends, and he's carrying it forward, as you will hear. On the saxophone, 
we have a dear friend of mine. We've been playing together for many years on Saturday Night Live. And he also plays with Christian McBride. This is the great Ron Blake. <laughs> on the piano, we have an amazing young man. And I met him when I was teaching at Juilliard. And of course, he went to school there. But he, before that, and more meaningful to jazz, he went to Jazz House Kids. <laughs> and this young man's name is Isaiah Thompson. <laughs> On the drums, we ha have a young man that I've known since he was born. <laughs> he happens to be my son. <laughs> And he's something else. This is Orion Touré. <laughs> I'm very honored to have on the bass this afternoon one of the great masters. And I met him, he was playing with Dexter Gordon. And yeah, Dexter, yeah. And later on, <laughs> later on, he went on to play with the great J.J. Johnson. So you know I love that. And I also used to work for him at William Patterson when he was the director of jazz studies there. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Rufus Reed. <laughs> And finally, we have our very special guest. We're going to take it all the way home to the route from Senegal, West Africa. We have the wonderful Abdul Mboup on the percussion. <laughs> so we're going to play a couple of tunes for you right off here. The first one I wrote to honor one of my former employers and friends and uh, mentors. And I worked with him a lot, but I met him with Art Blakey, the great Cedar Walton. So I call this planting the seed. And we're going to follow that with a composition I wrote for Duke Ellington called Dinner with Duke.
Thank you. Thank you. How about that for Isaiah Thompson on the piano? Huh? And Rufus Reed on the bass. <laughs> Could y'all hear the bass okay out there? Okay, good. Because this room has amazing acoustics, but this, the sound carries very different than, uh, say, in a club or a concert hall. So this next composition is going to take you on a different journey now. This is something different. And you know, I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area. And uh, the young people there wanted peace in the world which we all need today, too. So I kind of give this a nod to the Bay Area, and it's called Flower Power.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> when I was growing up, uh, you had to learn to play the blues. I know uh, there are some youngsters today that don't think that's important anymore, but that's actually the foundation of all the American music. So right now we're going to play a blues for you. This is something I wrote. And, and it's going to be on my new recording, which is coming out in September. And it, the recording is going to be called Generations, because we have many generations on the record. And, uh, and it's on the Smoke Session label which if many of you may know the Smoke Jazz Club Uptown, and it's all the same people. So I call this song, Blue Smoke.
Thank you. Yeah. That, that composition, uh, I wrote that for uh, uh, Pharaoh Saunders. And I call that Pharaoh's Dance. <laughs> and uh, we're going to continue now with an old favorite. This one is a standard, I guess you could say. And uh, it's a little different treatment of smoke gets in your eyes. Thank 
Thank you. Abdul Ambuk. Thank you. And he was playing the talking drum. There you go. He was playing. Could you hold that up and show that to the audience? It's a talking drum, African talking drum. And Abdul from Senegal, he is a griot. And he can talk, he can tell story with the drum, if you know his language, is Wolof. And uh, thank you. take you in a different direction. We're going to go to Jamaica. There's a very wonderful master trombone player from Jamaica. And uh, he's passed away now, but I'm a big fan of his music, so I wrote this song for him. And his name is Don Drummond. Y'all know about Don Drummond. Yeah. This is called Don D.
got time for one more. Mm-hmm.
Wallace Roney Jr., Isaiah Thompson, Ron Blake, Abdul Mbouk, Orion Touré, Rufus Reed, Steve Touré, and the Sextet. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, Steve Ture, Steve Ture, and this incredible ensemble. Truly a gift today. Truly a gift. We thank Trinity Church, Father Bird, Melissa Baker, Senior Artistic Director, our associate producer over here, Ted Chubb. Thank you all. Steve, this was a truly a wonderful gift today. Thank you to all of the musicians. Thank you. The Jazz Icon Series. <laughs>